Hello wherever and whenever you are, and welcome back to the Underdark, down in the depths underneath the Material Plane. And thank you so much for the raid, thank you so much for the followers, and for the hey, subscription so for the from Guild Superior. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone, welcome in, welcome in, it's great to have you, North Shore DM, I hope you had a fantastic time over in Greyhawk with your Beyond Saltmarsh game. I trust it was a good one. Hey North Shore, good to see you too. Right, hey Quims, good to have you in again, thank you so much for last time. So, welcome to everyone, raiders and all, and we are jumping right into things here and getting this session of Out of the Abyss started. So. Without further ado, let me say thank you not only to these fantastic raiders and all of those people that are joining us already, but those in the VOD squad as well. If you are joining and catching up with our adventures whenever you can, it is an absolute pleasure to have you here as always. Now, saying a few thank yous, let us also say a massive thank you to our incredible artist. Let me quick do a um, Out of the Abyss art. Do head on over to the incredible Saladman or Ryutoshi link over there in chat on Instagram and check out their amazing stuff. And if you so wish, you can um, have them draw amazing art for you, like ours here. Um, really awesome stuff. And saying thank yous as we are, let us also do a big shout out to the fantastic people over at Sirenscape for all of the lovely, lovely music and sound effects that you can have to use in your games. If you want to try them out for free, head on over to sirenscape.com and you can have a free trial. And if you so wish, you can become a subscriber, a super siren as they like to call them, and have access to all of the incredible things that they have, not only for D&D as we are using it for, but also other systems like Call of Cthulhu, Pathfinder, a um, bunch of board games, science fiction stuff as well, uh, futuristic stuff, not just fantasy, and amazing, amazing stuff, and new things coming out all the time. They just re uh, released some new things for Dungeons of the Mad Mage as they're slowly working their way through that epic, huge module and all of the stuff that lies therein. Now, also, let us, talking about music, let us say a thank you to the three YouTube channels that we love dearly, Dark Fantasy Studio, Travis Savoy, and Epic Journey for lovely, relaxing music like this, or epic um, battle music and all kinds of other things as well. And finally, speaking of music, the Patreon of Will Savino is an incredible source for you to get in your game and use at your tables, be they real or virtual. Now, that said, let us also... Oh, sorry, um, one more thing. If you want links to any of those um, different channels, etc., head on over to any of the VODs on our YouTube channel. Down in the info of those videos, you can catch all the links that you need. And there's our Twitter as well, if you want to jump on over there and keep up to date on everything that's going on on Phoenix Iwaki. Lots of fun things coming up. A few exciting uh, guest appearances too, which uh, we'll be tweeting about. Um, we're heading over to other channels and having people coming over to our channel and all sorts of exciting stuff. Hey, Bagel, how you doing? Hope you're having a good old day over there in... Uh, <laughs> a good old day? A good middle of the night <laughs> over there in uh, jolly old England. I believe, by your accent at least, <laughs> last time I saw. Now, that said, let me catch all of you up with what is going on, and let's see what our adventurers have gotten themselves into as we jump back into Out of the Abyss. Last time, the adventurers found themselves in the Darrow Cult's chamber, um, trying to stop them from causing another of the stone giants to sprout a second head and go berserk throughout the um, city of Grackelstug, the Durgar city here in the Underdark. And as they were lurking there, deciding what to do, our monk friend here, Corbin, suddenly came back to consciousness, having been knocked out by the poison of the nasty little demons that they discovered in the tunnels a little ways back. But... They decided to, with their new friend back in action, to use the element of surprise, the element of bombegranates, and the element of bigwig mushrooms in a lethal combo to attack the cultists and stop them from spreading more mayhem in the name of Demogorgon here in the Underdark. 
as they leapt into battle using all of their various um, tactics. Corbin discovered that there was also a two-headed giant Etin, Grulamunga by name, um, lurking over on the far side of the cave in the darkness, uh, who quickly lunged into the combat as well. And the head cultist had some magics of their own, as Zakarn, our um, Asamar guide here in the Underdark, who unfortunately has got himself lost <laughs> for today. He's busy with work, unfortunately, but he may be able to join us later, fingers crossed. Um, Zakarn fell under the cultist's magic sway and attacked Ignatius again against his own will this time. Last time it was a mistake, this time it was the force of magic. Next time it might be a boy choice, who knows. Um, but we shall see. And um, what else happened? There was a nasty two-headed death dog. Two heads seems to be the uh, general theme of this adventure, um, with the Demogorgon being um, key here. A two-headed death dog came lunging out of its cage and attacked our brave adventurers. Poor Queen Elora over there getting a nasty bite which led to her being poisoned. We do hope that that gets sorted before too long. And then, finally, they got the upper hand and started to drive the cultists back. The head of the cult, the magician, the, the uh, magic user of the group, was killed. Which, thankfully, led to the release of Grulamunga, the Etin, with their two heads shaking off the cruel magics that had enslaved them and caused them to be violent and against our adventurers. And instead, they became a nice little friendo for them to enjoy our buds. No. <laughs> Sorry, excuse the overlay for a second, folks. Um, I don't. I actually don't have a three-camera one set up. So, Chris, <laughs> you get to be Corbin, and okay. Sam, you get to be Ignatius, and my head gets to be a Laura if I do this. <laughs> Hello. Or I can be myself over here. Aha, camera one. Camera two. <laughs> camera one. I should be over here for the moment then. Hi, folks. Let me just uh, <laughs> have a quick chat with you all while I'm lurking over here. Um, sorry, I don't have a, I have a, don't have a three camera one set up. I have a four one and a five one. Ah, just back. Okay, good. <laughs> so, as um, they were defeating the cultists, there two of them tried to flee, but Corbin, also giant sized, um, thanks to the big wig mushrooms, and um, the new friend Grulamunga, managed to squash and tackle those ones that were trying to flee and managed to catch them before they disappeared and spread the alarm. And that is where we left our lovely adventurers here. Speaking of our lovely adventurers, let me allow them to introduce themselves. Who are you? Who are you playing? And where are they at Ignatius? Oh, I am Chris from uh, Carney's Sideshow and I am playing. <laughs> Ignatius, Poppy, Zerillus, the Minotaur, Barbarian, Knight, and uh, lost my crew down here in the Underdark, I'm searching for them, kind of desperately, pretty much just hanging out with this crew for now. <laughs> Safety numbers. Fighting off two-headed monsters, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of them. <laughs> yes, yes, as you can see on our overlay there from Roll20, we do have a slightly, slightly whittled down number of NPCs um, with the party now. It's like it may look like a, a lot to you, but to us this is this is quite a reduced number. Uh, we've lost a few folks along the way um, for good and bad reasons. Um, there is the link to Carney Sideshow over there in chat to give them a follow as they continue roaring towards 800. I see ya. I see ya. Good stuff. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Buns, stay there. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. We have a rather unstable internet connection. It seems. We should get that sorted um, ASAP. Now, Ignatius. <laughs> Ignatius again, <laughs> um, AKA <laughs> Sam. <laughs> oh, there she is, back in, just in time. Elora, <laughs> who are you and who are you playing? My name is Sam, I play Elora. She is an assassin rogue high elf for Miss Janner. Mm -hmm. uh, she ran away from home, started an outlaw band, um, which stole from the rich and gave to the poor. Uh, tried to steal some stuff and then got uh, abducted <laughs> by the drow. Met all of these lovely people and hey. they escaped together. 
I blame uh, I blame the descent into the Avernus crew because you know it, it's it was the disappearance of Elturel that led to those caverns and things being opened up and you know curiosity got the better of you I mean cannot be blamed really. Oh, we couldn't have so much treasure waiting right there for her, of course. Right. Um, what were you supposed yeah. to do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then after they escape together, we're trying to get all of these uh, NPCs back home. Um, Allura ran into her crew, so she found that some of them are alive. Yay. And she also found out that her home has been destroyed and she is oh, yeah. next in line to be queen, but she doesn't want to do it. She's going to try to avoid it. <laughs> the DM giveth and the DM taketh away. Yes. Okay. Thank you. And just in time, do we have a Corbin? Burns? Burns? <laughs> no. No, indeed. Just for Sorry. fun, when we should try to do each other's intros. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, next time you're in different spots. Yeah. <laughs> okay, who wants to introduce... So, Allura, your idea. Introduce introduce Corbin, please. <laughs> yeah, you're technically her boss, so... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and her queen. <laughs> <laughs> not her queen. Uh, not yet. Not yet uh, Corbin's boss, either. Well, Corbin might end up down here in the Underdark. Seems like Corbin's taking a liking to helping uh, Zakan. Uh, guide people and yeah. uh, making friends with spiders and such. <laughs> so excuse me uh, making some sound effects here as I try and get us a three player version of this screen of ours. Okay. Right. So thank you very much. Now I can uh, I can do Ignatius's version of Corbin. Please. <laughs> so uh there's this w- woman, man, wom- woman I'm not sure what she is exactly. She's, it depends. Uh, yeah, it depends on the day. They they change a lot, and mm-hmm. also they have a lot of animals that I don't appreciate very much. <laughs> and also, they really seem to like stabbing things mm-hmm. and drinking lots of alcohol and being not affected by it. It's a very strange. <laughs> thing. Um, I've never <laughs> not sure if you're quite remembering that as I do. <laughs> <laughs> they were passed out, and then they were in the the bottomless cavern. Like within ten minutes, it's it's very strange. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. She has a very strange uh, appreciation for Queen Alora over here as well. What? It's perfectly understandable. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Corbin has been there for everyone so far. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm still juggling the overlay here, everyone. Thank you. For your patience. I don't know much longer. I can stall. What else can I do? <laughs> I don't know. Well, no, it's okay. Let's go. Let's jump back into the scene. So you find yourselves in the cavern, having successfully defeated the cultists, and Ignatius and Delora starts to um, discuss the next step. What would you like to do? Well, to be honest, at this point, I've kind of forgotten what we were trying to do in the first place. <gasps> Delora. <laughs> I mean, I know we're trying to... We, Zakan will have us take this proof back to uh, his friend, the, the guard, I believe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I would like to try and capture Droki, though. We don't know Droki might be in contact with other cultists, and there might be rituals happening in other parts of the city. I, I feel it's like... True. I want to get out of here, but I also don't want to run into a Demogorgon on the way out. <laughs> all, like, all good goals. Good goals. Yes. Well, I think many of us are quite beat up. And as much as I'd like to keep chasing a little creature around the Underdark, um, maybe we could regroup, perhaps? Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Okay. <laughs> So let us bring you over to um, a. I'm trying to think where to bring you because um, I, I guess to the main large map is the best place to be, so you can uh, figure out where to go next. And where are we at? Here we go. Um, in the massive dup dup here. Give Roll Twenty a quick moment, everybody, as it catches up with our adventurers 
Look at all the places they've been, Ooh. thanks to Explorer Mode on Roll20. Da -da -da. Looks like an ant farm. <laughs> they've been charging around the uh, the wallstone tunnels. Tunnels that the Durgar of the city do not know about. As they're uh, hidden away down here. Um, the Durgar, by the way, um, also have no idea quite how many Dero there are. <laughs> they have no idea how that there's so many of them. And if they could organize themselves, that would be a big hunk of trouble for the um, Durgar in the city above, because they are very outnumbered, but they don't quite realize that. Now, I think we shall zoom in a little for you fine folks back home. So um, it's a massive map, so we can't get too close, I'm afraid. But you can see that glow off there in the middle. There they are. Hello, I see you. As they are lurking at the edge of the cultists' tunnels there. Zoom. And... Boop. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a couple of death tokens there. I think I brought some quasits with you by mistake. <laughs> Okay, so you, um, Alora, are out to <laughs> the shirt. <laughs> it's just just a random blue shirt. Nothing special. Nothing special. I think like Uniqlo or something like that. Just just work stuff. Work stuff, as he says, putting on his best Blingenstone accent. It's just a shirt I wear for work. I'm in the middle of my day, like. And. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, we just got a message from, from Buns. She's. There's a severe thunderstorm warning, and the windows are shaking, apparently. Oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah. Heavy, heavy stuff. As they're <laughs> trying to sort out their uh, internet there, folks. So, thank you for being patient and hanging out with us as we're trying to sort that. I do have a three-person one ready now, so if, um, as I'm messing with the map here, if she does disappear, let me know. Hey. And... I see movement. Burns! Are you alive? Yeah. Yes, I... I can everybody hear me? Yay! Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I see the message in, in, in the group. Yeah, I'm just, just I'm under a severe thunderstorm warning, so... I'm, that's gonna happen. Uh, I don't want to mess up the stream. I don't know if I should stay on. No, let's do it. I'm, I've, I've set up um, while we were chatting and, and uh, goofing around there. I set up a window for just the three of us as well. So if you disappear, we will be able to jump over to there instead. Do not worry. Let's okay. let us have let us have you when we can. Okay. So. Okay. Um, Elora has said that she would like to try and chase down Droki the spy, the Dero spy. Um, in case they are um, heading towards any other cultists um, in the area. And Ignatius, um, sorry, what was yours again? I was distracted. Uh, I said at least one arrest or something. Have a rest, yeah. And get uh, get things back in, um, all their cards in order, all their ducks in a row, etc., etc., before they head off further into the depths here. Okay, so you're going to take a, excuse yeah. me, you're going to take a short rest here? I would agree to a short, at least a short rest here. And then I promised I would come help you. Okay. So, everyone, if you're going to hang out here for an hour, you can take the benefits of a short rest. Now, I think okay. Doroki will will disappear during that time, but oh, you can try and find them in the city later. Unless, Corbin, do you have any more healing? Uh, with the short rest, yes, I do. <laughs> mm. You're it looking be, pretty bad. Uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Me? I yeah. definitely look bad. Yeah. I remember I just looked down at my hit points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if you had Does one... Con... <laughs> Does the con have any more spells, perhaps? Uh, no, he did not. Okay. Um, Corbin, didn't you have any healing because you you were brought back refreshed from unconsciousness? Yes, and then I went ham sandwich on everything and got <laughs> back to one. 
notice. When I was fighting, um, what did we name the two-headed? Or what did you name the two-headed uh, Grula, Grula over Manga. that I started to chop up? <laughs> Grula Munga. Yeah, yes. I fought Grula Munga, and that went down very quickly. Yeah, they're nursing, nursing that nasty cut you gave them between their two heads. Um, actually, Zakan also got a spell slot back, so he does have cure wounds. <laughs> so Zakan no, comes over to you, Corbin, you know, settling that mask back into place, as that was something else we got to glimpse last time, as he removed the mask yes. and unleashed his celestial fury. Um, and he comes over to you and he's like, um, Corbin, um, you're looking rather worse for wear. I'm would you like some of my assistance? Yeah, no, that would be great. That would be very appreciated. <laughs> You're like sitting, legs sprawled out because you were finally stopping. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay, so he reaches out and that glow, the same glow that emanates from behind his mask, passes through his hand into your shoulder and you regain... Uh, 9 HP. Yay! <laughs> there you go. Oh, jeez, wait. Alright. So. Short rest or no? Uh, no, I'm okay. If Corbin's healed. How are you feeling, Corbin? <laughs> Ready to roll? Um, I I won't limp. That's the important part. <laughs> like, Wait, don't we have like mushrooms that help things? We and the lore have been collecting so many mushrooms. <laughs> little little wicker baskets, <laughs> overflowing <laughs> as you skip <laughs> twigs to the mushrooms. Um, My little backpack. <laughs> I think. There was the big wigs, there was the pygmy warts. Yeah, I don't think mm -hmm. any had healing. No, there weren't any healing ones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think we shared that last time as well. Unfortunately. Well. <laughs> Alright, well, as long as the next thing we fight. Let's just let's just say I'll do a lot of self-healing next time we're, <laughs> we're in a kerfuffle. Quick, someone punch me so I can so I can fight all technically. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Thank you, thank you. So, let me just have a quick glimpse about here. Oh, another raid, Manaput Studios. Thank you so much and welcome, welcome. Good to see you, nice to meet you all. Enjoy, we are playing Out of the Abyss, as you can see, up there. Does what it says on the camp. And we have defeated Dero cultists <laughs> underneath the Durogar city of Grakelstug, and they are hot on the trail of the Dero spy, Droki as they plunge through. Thank you for dropping on by. All right, so, um, by the way, um, all of our raiders um, from um, Guild Superior and Manabot Studios, if you would like to jump in to our Discord, we have a followers Discord, so give the channel a follow, and you can see everything that's going on and jump on over there. Um, I will send you an invite later on. Right, now, please. The stage is yours, dear players. Well, then. you have control. Corbin, you are feeling better. Okay, so how are we gonna track Droki since since we lost him? I think he just ran out that way, and I point toward the opposite end. Yes, and Zakan Zakan kneels closely and looks. He's like, "There's some um, quite a lot of." traffic here and there, but I believe I could pick up his trail in the tunnels beyond, if we can leave this camp. Okay. Right. Well then, probably the next best thing is for us to try to get out. <laughs> try. Right, um, they're ready to try. I'm being realistic. Um, <laughs> but yeah, they're going to hop up as best they can, and they're, they're ready to go after the short rest. Notes it, notes it. Oh, oh well, sorry, I think, think I think it's not taking the short rest, right? 
Just healing, getting healed by Zakan, right? Yeah, just the healing, right? Oh, okay. I thought we had done the short rest mm -hmm. and the healing. If we're just doing me healing, then let's go before we lose him, because that means he didn't disappear. Yeah, quite. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so let me do a quick... Oh, yeah, no problem. Okay, so um, please head on out. You have. I, I will leave Zakan where he is. Actually, no, the, oh, God, the, uh, the lighting was on him, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it was. Ignatius, can you do me a favor and grab a torch? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Oh, is it? No, oh, it looks like you're still glowing. Oh, yeah, I'm glowing okay. I just can't see the other players, though. They are out of, they're just out of, out of your lights there. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, if they come into the... Because oh, dynamic see. lighting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can see Laura. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, yeah, everyone stick together. <laughs> Um, how's your how's your roll twenty doing, Buns? Do you want me to just drag and drop you when they stop somewhere if something happens? Oh no, um, my roll twenty actually loaded loaded up right now. We're just cool, small, cool. and I'm trying to find us on the map. Yeah, there we I, go. Okay, you got it. Okay, I was gonna, gonna got it. ping you over there. Nice. <laughs> Please don't meet me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ignatius, where have you got to? Right here, by Laura. I just lost you on the play of you. Oh, there you go. Yes. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. It's like such a massive map. Everyone's little, teeny tiny little <laughs> little things here. Okay. So, do you want to head over there to them, Corbin? Or um, or we can do it later? I was just going the complete wrong way. I found <laughs> me. Where's <laughs> They're to the, to the west. They're going to go out the west exit. Yeah, I see you. Yep. Yep, there you go. Yeah. Hello. You're lurking right on the edge of the screen. There you go. Okay, so yes, the blue glow of the phaserous infected, infected, that's the wrong word, infused, um, strange, <laughs> whirling shapes and patterns around the stalactites and um, outcrops of rock on the natural caverns here illuminates your progress. And uh, Grulamunga is also... It's just clumping along behind you there. Okay, so... <laughs> Please continue. Stay together. Hold hands. <laughs> I can't <laughs> Buddy see. system. Oh, yeah. yeah, I can't do anything. Maybe uh, Laura. Laura's Can leading the way. I see him. A... Am I heading? <laughs> I see a movement. There she goes. <laughs> keep up. Keep up. Okay. <laughs> ah. I hope. I hope this is the right way. Yep, that's the way you. That's the way Droki. So do all of us. <laughs> all Fingers crossed. Falling. Now, stop there a second, Laura. Um, as you get to that point there, um, a patch of fungus over on the side, a different kind of fungus that you haven't seen to this point, just starts screaming, <laughs> and um, just this horrible, horrible shrieking sound goes off. It looks like it was some kind of alarm system. Um, and Grulamunga just goes oh, over and just no. with a massive foot just goes and stamps on it and crushes it. I I always hated Ooh. when that went off. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you know where more of, of these are? Do you know are there any other traps like these that would alert you? Um yeah, don't don't stand where you and Mr. Mukau are standing. <laughs> There's a big hole, uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so you, you, she she pointed out before you move there. But there is uh, there's a pit, there's a pit trap there. there. <laughs> <laughs> the, that face was in canon. Corbin is just like mm -hmm. <laughs> the um the two edges of the cavern there along the sides of the wall are, are free. She points out that you can walk along there, and she she very carefully edges along there with her massive massive feet. Um, Ignatius and Corbin, did you take a pygmy wart and reduce in size? Or are you still massive? Yep. Still massive. Okay. I, I never went big, though. I was just normal size. Oh, you turned back to normal. Okay. Ah. Corbin? Me, on the other hand. <laughs> Do I need to make an adjustment I, I here? understand. <laughs> yeah, I, I, um, I, I technically am still big. I understand what Webster feels right now. <laughs> okay, you and... I mean, with your monk dexterity, you're fine. But yes, you... There you go. Boop. Rawr. <laughs> um, you and Grulamunga edge gingerly along the edge of the pit trap and manage to avoid it. And yeah, 
As you step out through that uh, narrow gap into the tunnels beyond, Elora, please. Royalty first. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry, folks. Drag roll 20 around here. Okay. So, yes, you come out into that uh, little um, junction there, and Zakan like, holds up a hand. He's like, um, allow me to have a quick check. And I rolled reasonably high for his survival check, and he points in the direction of the southeast um, tunnel there. He's like, it seems uh, our friend went this way. still following Alora, but I'm, I'm gonna sort of be behind you, Ignatius, only because I am the big, so. <laughs> okay, let me, um, sorry, let me switch up Sirenscape here. I realized that everything going on. I just left it on the opening music. Tunnels, tunnels, tunnels. Okay, behind Did we... Oh yeah. Can you start recognizing anything? Not like, yet. No, if you it will show it will show up in grey if you've been there. That's kinda of why I'm asking. Hmm. Okay, let's switch this up a bit. Ooh. Gambari, pass on. While we're walking, I kinda of wanna ask Kakula Bunga. So what is the last thing you remember before ending up here in the tunnels? Mm. Sorry, I've got a voice for this. I was jumping around down by the dark lake, trying to catch some of those squiggly tentacle fishes for my lunch. And then whack! On this head, whack on that head, and then you. Okay. Hmm. The lake down here, or the dark lake above? Sorry, I didn't um, catch it. Yeah, she went the dark lake. Yeah. Dark lake. Okay. Hmm. Do you know what was going to happen if they finished the ritual? She looks confused. I guess I was trying to make sure that while under that control, they were completely oblivious to what was happening around them, or did she know what was happening around them? Or is she just kind of already not that bright? I don't know. I like the rhythm of it. It was like mm. soothing. I could sit. You're not hearing music mushrooms. now. Hmm? You're not no, hearing no. music now, are you? No, no, no. Oh. Just, just when they were chanting. I'm not traumatized. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I hear music. Ignatius, no. Kind of music, rumpa dump, horny music. There are no, there are no <laughs> micronids here. Don't worry. Oh. <laughs> okay. Don't you hear it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you now, I do believe to the southwest you have being able to see somewhere that you've been before. Yeah. <laughs> Hooray. Yes, you do find the entrance, that junction where it twisted around and went down towards that mushroom thicket where there were all those nasty spiders and centipedes and the like. So... Laura or Zakan, can you do you see where the tracks go? Believe that mm. is Zakan's specialty. Um, yeah, yeah. Zakan. Zakan looks. He's like, 
Mm. It, um... It looks like... It looks like he's headed back to the surface. Quims, thank you so much. Absolute legend. Oh, we know that he does. I, we know that he does errands for people, collects things, and then brings them down, so... And he's always muttering about needing to go do that over and over again. So it should be pretty easy to see him running around the city. Right? Uh, I hope so. I'm very um, sure him. Would he be willing to provide any information? Or is his mind so gone he wouldn't be... We do have those mushrooms. We can make him tell the truth. Ah. That is true. Okay, so then it's just a matter of catching him. Mm -hmm. I think we need shinies. <laughs> or at least a crystal. Whatever crystal he was muttering about. We can say we have it, and that will trade him. We just have to... Remember, you saw him... Find him and I, I... Elora, you saw him trade the crystal to the Thieves' Guild. He gave them to the Grey Ghost. But he was asking about the big crystal, and then the guy told him to mind his business. That's true. So what if you say we have the big crystal? And we have the crystal, maybe? What do you think, Ignatius? I think that if he's gone back up, it'll be hard to track him again, and we'll have to come down here. We should Again. find out if we can see if any other clues or something. I don't know. I think. Or just I think all the other everything. clues. That is that is also a thing. Uh, I'm also down for Team F S up, but <laughs> we would find all that stuff in the Thieves Guild. At least some type of roster. At least that's what my parents did. They kept their contacts. So what if we just find their contact stash? It'll say where he's going at the very least or when to expect him next. You you will remember if you take that east passage there that will take you back to the entrance to the Thieves Guild. When, I forgot when we saw that exchange did Laura feel like it was something was up like something a betrayal or something or was it just we didn't know what was going on exactly? No, it, just, it was just it was the alchemist that Laura yeah. had met when she met her friends there in the Thieves Guild headquarters. Um, so she recognized the person, and they just they just told Daruki to mind their business. Hmm. They give the man the jar of toenails. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Laura was more scared that uh, they were associating with Daruki, and if they had anything to do with the rituals. You know, Nixon cuts yeah. like this. Friends could potentially be mm. faces or something. <laughs> I suppose we could try to find out other than what he was doing. I figured they probably don't and they just wanted something from him, but either way, maybe we could get more information from them if they know his whereabouts or where he goes when he's not creating monsters. So do you hey. want me to directly or should do you want me to snoop around and try to find something when I go in? Uh. <laughs> choices, choices. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. They've helped my friends, but they're also helping Droki and I don't like that. Well really it just means your friends have information then. They don't know anything. They would at least not be as suspicious as you if they went in and got it. That's true. I mean, while we're here, we might as well go give them a visit, right? Or at least you could, and we could wait outside quietly. Yes. I can leave my friends and have them go back in and try and find something. Yeah, just on on their way out. But that means we should go. And like yeah. they're gonna kind of move a little bit towards towards the door, but really we have to follow you and then stay back a certain distance. So, where's that door at? To, to the, the east. east I think. 
Okay. All right, let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. Um, please, overall, come in, please. <laughs> so, Corbin stomps down the tunnel. <laughs> like, doom, doom, doom. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I'm so happy we don't have to go down this tiny thing. <laughs> well, hi, the way. One of these two nooks. Are these actual nooks here, like by the door? Ooh, hang on. Okay, where have you got to? Sorry, I was oh. checking, checking the uh, module for a second. Zoop. Come on over, viewers. <laughs> Ignore that. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The the uh, the map is as is. Oh look, it's Webster. Hey Webster. Can you see that? Is it on the GM? We're the same <laughs> size. <laughs> no, I can see. I, th oh, yes, okay. I thought that's what there was. <laughs> that's where he left it. <laughs> that's it. They're the same size, Webster. Yay! <laughs> he comes like leaping at you like a happy puppy. <laughs> but with eight legs. This is terrifying <laughs> for people. <laughs> like, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, yeah, Corbin, it's a little tricky for, for you to hide in there. <laughs> I suppose if Ignatius. No, if you went in the smaller one, Corbin could probably squeeze into that bigger one there. <laughs> but yeah. Sure you don't want to uh, come back down to normal size? I mean, it's fine. It's just whatever you want. Just, you know. I just didn't know if we needed the backup, but if we're okay, <laughs> so trying you've... to silently find the little mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> you've got some... <laughs> you've got more bigwigs if you need them. Okay. Well, then, yeah. Then just... <laughs> now, it does have to be said, Corbin, mm. there is the small issue of a severed animated hand with an obsidian ring. I know. I'm trying. I haven't seen any. What do I even roll? Obsidian check? <laughs> I'm saying there must be there must be other parts of the uh, dungeon that you have not been to. That's true, but I feel like that might no, be because there's really something. Yeah, no no scrolling out on the map and looking for the largest area of black that's left. <laughs> what? Like we're playing Ori in the Blind Forest. Just find the empty spots. <laughs> um, no, you, you know, um, for example, when you traveled around that strange swirling pool of water, there was that ramp that went up above the water. Yeah which you didn't check out. And as you went towards the Mesa with all of the sounds of the city being funneled down by the magic, um, there was a passage to the north um, from that direction. And also just now when you left the cultist den, you turned left southeast um, back towards the center here, but there was another tunnel that you could see heading to the north there as well. So north, north, north. <laughs> was a general right. a general theme of that and there's and so, there was a north one from the uh, passage that you were just in as well and you know um, Corbin and uh, Ignatius from where you're hiding there just to the north of that is where that water is the first water you were talking about that had the ramp yeah the one with the strangely swirling kind of whirlpool thing one that you drank from yes <laughs> Thanks. To that. That, was, that, that was Quinn's, wasn't it? Worth <laughs> it. it. Yes, it's worth it. Um, never been so purged. Uh, I don't know. I would go check it out. I just don't feel like I should just like go sneak off while we're while Laura's going on a mission. <laughs> yep. Well, you're, yeah. So the two of you are hiding there. Uh, Laura, what do you do? So I'm gonna go over and knock mm -hmm. on the door. Try okay. To get back inside. So you just, yeah, it's a pretty sturdy um, door. Let me uh, get the proper description as the spooky noises echo down the halls. Yay, computer's being alive again. Welcome back. 
Uh, do, do, do. So yeah, um, you see that there are double doors blocking the tunnel there made of thick zerkwood, you know, those massive tree-like mushrooms, um, reinforced with crudely forged steel um, blocking the way there. Do you kind of, you're gonna, just going to hammer on them? Okay. After a time, you hear um, what you remember to be that alchemist's voice. And he's just like, What? Who is it? It's me, Alora. I've come for Luna and Esmeralda. And he quickly opens the door and just like kind of grabs you and just pulls you inside and slams it shut and bars it again um, from that side. What the bloody hell are you doing? It's dangerous. Why did you take that route by yourself? Why didn't you come through the tunnel? I got lost. I didn't remember how I got here. <sighs> I had the blindfold the first time I came. You must be half as, at least half as good as those two keep going on about you. Just just over the back to your 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 friends are there like they're like hi, <laughs> um, and um, he's like, if you made it through the Wallstone tunnels by yourself, uh, hats off, well cow cows off. Grounds. <laughs> Long journey through the Underdark. I'm ready to get out of the city. Well. I hope you're able to get back to uh, your uh, surface enterprises. Although, are you sure you won't join us? We could do with someone who can get through the Wellstone Tunnels by themselves to uh, help us fight against those bastards up there. Staying off her, but there's a lot in this city uh doesn't sit right with me. Well, that's why. Like you should help possible. us. You should help us to stop it and tear it down in any way we can. Well, let me, I know you have some conflict with some other groups uh, in this city. Oh, it's those bastards. But the Keepers of the Flame. Keeper of the Flame, right. That was the assassin group that's after you. No, 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 no. no. That's, those, are the, uh, those are the clerics that uh, look after the big red dragon. And he kind of looks around conspiratorially, even though he's in his own base. And he's like, <laughs> We stole the egg. Makes <laughs> a lot of sense. Do you have any idea what goes on? The red dragon that they keep pampered and spoiled, lighting all the furnaces and keeping all the fires burning bright. That is the latest in the long line of, at most, middle-aged dragons. They never get beyond adulthood, because as soon as a dragon starts getting too draconic, if you will, and starts getting ideas above their station, they kill it and replace it with a hatchling from its, from its egg. But this time... <laughs> We snagged the egg. And did you do this for love of dragons? No, to mess with the authorities. To sow discord in the city above. Try and uh, bring down, you know, this system of slavery and oppression. You've never heard a Jurigar speak like this. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's one of them. He's, he's one of the uh, dark dwarves, you yeah. know. The uh, Underdark Dwarfs. And he's like... Look. We're just trying to do the right thing. And... We'll take any steps necessary. Anything that we can do, just shove a spanner in the works. We got the egg. Here's another conspiratorial look around. We've got our secret weapon. Secret weapon. Yes. The crystal. We haven't figured out what it is yet, but once it's complete, we know one thing. Well, our leaders do. The uh, Dero Savants that lead our group. 
they know that it is imbued with great magic. There is a strange wafting of air and sound. <laughs> and Laura, you get inspiration from Josh. Cheers, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. Hope you're doing well. It's John Tuesday. Okay. So. Our, uh, our contact in the city. Really weird fucking little fella, but very useful. He, um, he just delivered another piece. <sighs> Cost us a pretty penny, but it's worth it. Crystal, what kind of magic does it have? I mean, I wonder why it's so sought after. It's not really my deal, is it? I'm more of the uh, mixing the chemicals, making the poisons and the potions, you know? But, um, oh, you know what it is? It's, um, it's some, some ominous black crystal monolith. We found it in the tunnels, and the, uh, the Darrow Savants are, uh, slowly bringing it back to full power and once it's there we'll be ready to use its power to do whatever it is that they want to do I, I, I'm not sure I mean it seems like you have a noble cause trying to shake things up in the city I'm all for that that sounds like my kind of thing down with the authorities but right. do you have any idea what the Darrow are trying to do yeah same as us they're, they're, they're the leaders of our of our group because I've seen some Darrow down here that are trying to do maybe something that you're not trying to do. <laughs> well, you know, hashtag not all Darrow, but, um, uh, you know, it's... Uh, <laughs> sorry, that's something I saw in a notebook a while back. Um, no, um, it's, um... As far as I know, I mean, they've, they've led us straight and true um, until this point. They're fairly open about what they're doing there. It's not like we're, you know, forbidden. Oh, we are forbidden from going over there. Hmm. I'm sure it's fine. No, I've, uh, on my journey to the, through the Underdark, I've witnessed um, some horrifying things happening <laughs> down here. Oh, tell me about it. It's vicious out there. Are you familiar with the Demogorgon? Demogorgon? Is that some demon nasty stuff? Yes, yes. Hmm. I've heard tales, of course. Apparently, uh, recently some of our uh, smuggling operations have been attacked by demons, like way out in the uh, in the sticks. It's real, and uh, it stopped me dead in my tracks. I almost died, and. There are cultists all over the Underdark trying to bring it back. So, yeah, yeah, we had, we had tell we... one of our best smugglers, um, we call him Josh the Pirate. Uh, we were very worried that uh, he was going to make it back, but his uh, caravan was destroyed, but he made it here safe and sound. It's good to see you, Josh. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> breaking, <laughs> breaking the force wall all over the place. Sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, a lot of, well... As long as you, you know, church awaits, you get involved with what you feel, but I'd be careful with any dark crystals given to you or associated with um, the Tao down here. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could go and have a look for us. Got a couple of potions with your name on it, if you could go and uh, check out what this uh, obelisk is all about. Okay. I could do that. You want to be careful, though. Don't go uh, straight north from outside the door there. That's where that nasty water monster is. Oh, good to know. <laughs> Can Corbin and Ignatius hear this conversation, by the way? No, you're beyond the door. It's closed behind you. <laughs> So, Corbin Ignatius. I'm so happy we didn't do a side mission. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> ha, 
how long are you happy just to sit there by yourselves without wanting to explore? I mean... I have to find a hand! <laughs> I don't want to get too samey-samey here. I, I mean, it, it's... Ignatius, it's, it's another water weird. <laughs> Which, uh, we've already experienced... Well, we did see something, right? We saw something weird there. It was there was a specific big churning water, water uh, whirlpool in the water. Oh okay. Yeah, and there's there's a water weird, but it's it's um yeah you, know, you seem to be able to sneak around the east side, you know the lower route without um, any um, problems. But maybe maybe going up that ramp could be a little dangerous. <laughs> Said your magnanimous DM for today. Sure. <laughs> Got me in a good mood. My, so, my, my uh, offline yeah. my offline everyone players yesterday we had such a fun like generous episode they're terrified now <laughs> like, it's like when when does it swing the other way when does it swing the other way <laughs> uh yeah after sitting there for like 10 minutes or something we're just like starting to yawn off like corbett what do you mean you have to find a hand i told you when i was first going through here when i was following musicy music man it, it, there was a ghost and I maybe bound myself to finding its hand and burying it so that its soul could rest and it said I only had to find the hand so that I didn't have to find the rest of its body and I get to keep the ring so win win question mark <laughs> I agree with the question mark but like <laughs> like what are we supposed to... so we have to do this you're saying or you're going to be stuck down here forever Oh, oh my gosh, no, I hope not. Or you'll be haunted forever. What? Well, I don't understand. You bound yourself to it? I said I would, and I gave my word, and that means I have to do it, or else I'm a liar and a lying face, and the last person that lied to me died. So you're going to kill yourself if you lie? I don't know. Look. No. If we have to do this, then let's let's do it. I mean, Laura doesn't need our help in there. Did you just want an excuse to get up? Yeah. Then just say that. I'm bored okay, as hell. Let's go. I'm and like you get up, like <laughs> 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 they're gonna be like wipe off their pay. Oh, question for the DM. During that time that we've been sitting here, would uh, any of the time that passed would that be uh would I be able to um switch my spells around? No, it's not long... can do that stuff off rest is is it a long rest that I have to do that way? I couldn't remember if I could do it on the short rest. Um sorry, I'd have to double check. Um, the druids are weird. They have so many spells. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, let me have a quick look for you. D &D, Thank you. D&D <laughs> Beyond. Uh, game rules. Sorry, Sam Regal does it better. <laughs> Natch, <laughs> naturally. Druid. Let us... Oh, Quims, sorry, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll, sh I'll shoot you a, um, I'll shoot you an invite. I, I, should, I should have sent you one before. Excuse me, excuse me. It says, finish yeah, your Quims list of prepared spells Discord. after a long rest. Oh, cheers, Josh. Long rest. Okay. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, usually it's, it's very rare to do it on a short rest. Some people do it on a long rest, and others only get to do it when they level up, which sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I think Bard, is it Bards? Right. Bards only gets it, get it on the level up? Uh, I believe so, yeah. A medium well, rest. Tasha's, I can't remember, there's so many new rules now. Yeah, right. <laughs> medium rest? <laughs> but, yeah, I like. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the spells that I do have, so I'm fine. By the way, speaking of new rules and exciting things for players, I yesterday I backed that new Cobalt Press book, mm -hmm. you know, the um, Tome of Heroes, and it's got like... Ooh! I, I watched an interview with Wolfgang Bauer, you know, the... Uh, the um, uh, the head head cobalt, and um, he was saying um, they're committing to at least forty new subclasses. <laughs> In that, it's, it's gonna be that's a lot. Awesome. That's gonna be interesting. Mm -hmm. There's some cool stuff and new like new weapons and bits and bobs. <laughs> he said slightly mopping his brow and sweating at the thought of uh, homebrewing all of that in D&D &D Beyond. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, give it a, give it a month or so and see how many other people have done it. <laughs> we shall see. Yeah. Or just like give it, okay, you know, have, it let everyone have a browse through and I can just do the ones they want. <laughs> okay. So, 
Corbin Ignatius, are you throwing yourself into danger's way? That's what I need to know. Heck yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, it always like... Great. Seventy percent of our impulse control went through a big door. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thirty percent is in a meeting at the moment, not able to play yeah, it today. Exactly. <laughs> Having a very in-depth discussion with Webster as we sneak off. <laughs> I have to be smaller than you now, baby. <laughs> Are you you sh shrinking down? Um, I. Yeah, when we were um, going to hide, I did it so I could oh, hide and not sorry, my bad. noticeable. Juggling, no juggling. Let me uh, sort your token for you. Zoop. I'm sure my stealth check. To the swirling pools. But... There you go. Well. Zoom. Alice oh, no, in Wonderland. Okay. Boop. Webster. Yeah. Little spider. Zoom. Keep lurking in the phasers. Okay. Now to zoom out again so I can right, We're back shift. at the water. Okay, now, what's the plan? Are you going to go up the ramp? Is Quim's going to be able to bribe you into drinking more? <laughs> so, why would you put it out there? <laughs> um, it's just, it's just... Yeah, yeah it, um, it's an honest question, though. What the heck would I roll to keep a lookout for this hand? They just said it was somewhere in here. <laughs> Five gifted subs if you drink more, Corbin. It's just, Ooh. just, just throwing it out there. <laughs> oh man! Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> Why wouldn't I want subs for this amazing channel? All right. If only, if only, if everyone lets their phoenixes fly, will I drink this one? <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to roll a survive? No, it was a con check to see if I. <laughs> I have such little health. Oh, chaotic! You wish it was just peer pressure. It's much worse. It's viewer pressure, which is which is a hundred times it's worse. Viewer pressure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There they are. Five gifted subs. <laughs> yeah, you almost flow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Quims. here I go. Quims, thank is you, it... so, thank you so much, mate. <laughs> You're an absolute legend. Dehydrated okay. and only with with nine oh. health that they have gained. They stagger to the pool. So <laughs> thirsty, not learning from any of their consequences before. <laughs> now <laughs> roll me roll me D six. Fifty fifty. Okay. Tell me high high or low. Okay. Kasha. Does a four count as high or low? L high. <laughs> 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 so high okay so that four. you're the four okay so that's the high one so that is the latter end of things so you became a druid after you became a um monk so let me quickly mm -hmm. we already experienced the druid wild magic table we'll have to you know we i thought i was going to do the do the monk. Uh, <laughs> sorry <laughs> i can do the monk one <laughs> sorry i'm gonna ignore your okay. roll. give me a d100 please as you quaff some of that oh Delicious, delicious water. You want hundred. All right, I'm going to use my new birthday dice. Which, which? Speaking of which, nine past the hour. Happy birthday yep. to you. Happy birthday to you. Me. Happy birthday, dear buns. <laughs> Enjoy those gifted subs that don't go to you, but to us. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. But are Quims, because of my sacrifice. An unbeknownst birthday present. Yes, everyone, do give those happy birthdays and let those phoenixes fly in chat <laughs> for Buns' birthday as we just pass midnight in East Coast America. <laughs> happy birthday, And Buns. I rolled Thank a 16. <laughs> Sorry to inflict a, a uh, ma wild magic surge on you on your birthday. <laughs> It's, it could be the best thing to happen to me as I turn 30. <laughs> <laughs> welcome. Welcome. Okay. Um, right. So, a 16, you say? No, a 6-0. Six, 60. Oh, sorry, 60. Okay, that's that's much better. The 16, just for uh, things there. Oh, happy birthdays in chat for you there, Buns. Um, a 16 would Yay. be the worst one for a monk ever. For the next eight hours, you have disadvantage on all unarmed strikes while sober. <laughs> so you, have to do, you have to go drunken master. Oh. <laughs> I got rid of all of the alcohol when I set the bugs on fire. <laughs> True. 
But I mean, remember, we, have, we it, is, it, it is in Canada. It only takes a very small amount of alcohol to get you drunk. So, <laughs> but you went six, oh, yeah. six yeah. zero. Still have my mug with me here. I think I've been carrying <laughs> it this whole time. Okay, Ignatius. <laughs> You've been balancing it so it doesn't spill. Yeah, just the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you keep missing with the axe of yours. You're balancing this mug of beer. Exactly. Super hard. <laughs> Th thank you, Quims, for that little birthday treat. <laughs> um, for, our, for our dear monk friend here. Um, a 6-0 is an interesting one. Um, Ignatius, as Corbin once again, ill-advisedly, stoops to one knee and cups the hand and whoop, takes a swig of this strangely swirling brackish water. That is uh, um, moving around in the corner of this cavern here. Actually, I think we had a. Um... Where's the. Oh, it's not in this one, it's in the other one. So there's two, two sunsets for the tunnels here. There we go. Um, this one. So, yeah, as, um, yeah, as you kneel down by the water there, it's swirling and moving around, you um, cup that water and, and slug it back and Ignatius as Corbin stands and the two of you, you're going to start sneaking up the ramp okay as you start to sneak your way up the ramp there, you um, see Corbin get slower and you think, oh they're really they're sneaking really carefully today and then six seconds later they get slower again, as if their feet are getting weighed down in some kind of mud or something and they get slower and slower no. until they're barely moving and as they stop dead and almost fall forward as they're unable to move they suddenly start moving again <laughs> so that, that would have been that would have been very interesting in combat but <laughs> out of combat it's not so much oh. your, your speed reduced by five minutes a turn until it hits zero and then it reverts to normal. Who cares about this one? Oh, I'm glad I wasn't chasing something. Yeah, right. Oh boy. <laughs> so camera, camera so smash, like, smash cuts to Droki escaping into the city. <laughs> Bye. My legs fell asleep there for a second. It's fine. <laughs> okay, both of you roll me a stealth check. I got a twelve. Oh no, eleven. <laughs> so it's not bad. Okay, and Corbin. these are the birthday dice, by the way. Yay! Oh, nice. Happy birthday yeah. to you. That's what I had on my mm -hmm. Oh, that one! I love that one. That's the one my family sings all the time. I rolled a 17 I took plus that, I took, took that snippet four. and I had it as all of the alerts for my birthday week. <laughs> it's quite obnoxious by the end. <laughs> uh, so, 18, 19, 20, 21. I rolled a 21 on stealth. Nice. All right. Yeah, so you for, guys just stand up here. For an average of 16, and yes, I still used a calculator because I couldn't be asked to <laughs> figure out the maths with an S, crazy North Americans. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to shorten it. <laughs> it's mathematics. M-A-F-S, <laughs> maths. Okay, excellent. The Water Weird has a passive perception of 10. Now, it is guarding this part of the ramp as opposed to the other passage, so it would be more difficult, but that only bumped it to a 15. So, the two of you, with Corbin's extra slow, extra cautious approach, that's why you got the 21. <laughs> you have that, that uh, wild magic actually helped you there. Quims, thank you so much. A, a birthday gift indeed. Um, and you both managed to make your way, unaccosted, up the ramp into the tunnels above. Meanwhile... Tunnels above. <laughs> meanwhile... We... cut back to inside the Grey Ghost's hideaway. Zoom out too far away. Um, I should put you inside there, Laura, so nice, sorry. Can I get... Oh, I can. Nice. You are. Hey everyone, come join us in the in the shadows <laughs> as Alora lurks. Right, in, the, just... <laughs> in the grey ghosts <laughs> den here. 
Um, and sorry, I didn't put all the tokens on this map. They're on the small map. But um, imagine that everyone is there hanging out with you. Um, so, <laughs> where do we leave it? Oh yeah, he's like, oh yeah, I've got um, I've got a couple of potions for you if uh, if you go and check it out. It's <laughs> long live the queen, as, as the, yes. <laughs> Conquims, you do do a full on uh, Sex Pistols rendition for us. <laughs> um, as uh, he kind of looks around conspiratorially again, as is his habit clearly, and he um, looks around over his shoulders and he's like, "You do, uh, you do have a point there, Your Majesty. It is uh, always a good thing to keep an eye on those up top, eh?" We don't want to overthrow my ki my kindred up in the city and be left with the same bloody thing. It's like that place up in uh, up near the Sea of Fallen Stars, Chisenta, isn't it? They had one hero throw out the evil dragon that was overlording it over all of them, only to become a dictator herself. Everyone, do stay tuned for our new campaign coming in October. Set in Jacenta on the four Sea of Fallen Stars. <laughs> Seamless. <laughs> so, he. Uh, where is he? Hang on, let me find. Oh, great, I was in the right place already. Yay. Um, so, he. He, 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 he. Goes over to. Um, he goes over to a, a cabinet. He's like, I'll give you, I'll give you this one now. And if you come back with information and uh, let us all know what's going on, you know, get us all in the, in the loop, as it were. And he pulls the drawer open. You see a couple of, you know, a bunch of different ones. Um, um, there's a, uh, let's have a look here. Yeah, you, see one, you see one glass vial with this orange liquid inside that flickers and shimmers and smoke fills the top of the container. Um, and then he gestures, and there's another one um, in there that's kind of got this strange, kind of almost um, pearlescent, kind of purple sheen to it that's uh, slowly moving around inside the bottle. And um, But he reaches past those two, and he passes you the red, familiar red liquid of a healing potion. But he's like, this one's a bit souped up. This is uh, one of them... Uh, more powerful ones. And he gives you a potion of greater healing. Would that heal me uh, from being poisoned? Because I think I'm still poisoned. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. It's uh, just uh, more of a uh, cuts and bruises kind of thing. Fair. Um, let me see. Let's have a quick look here at our friend. See if he does have any of those skills. Nope, he's got he's got al alchemist's fire and and acid. <laughs> if you want to burn it out, one way or the other. <laughs> but um, Fred does not have um, any of those more regenerative ones that you're after. Uh, not really our speciality, I'm afraid. You want to get uh, some of your lot, yeah? Some of the clerics from your lot. I don't know, maybe um, maybe those at the uh, Neverlight Grove. You know, the the mushroom folk. They're a bit more uh, in tune with nature and the natural order of things. We're more about uh, messing with the natural order of things. <laughs> My kind of people. All right. Yes, How you doing? I think Alora's gonna walk over to Luna and Esmeralda and be like, Well, I'm off. I'll be back. And she's gonna give them both a hug. And then while she's hugging them, gonna try and whisper in their ear, Find a roster with the Droki's name on it. Something very vague there. <laughs> okay, and they, when, when you let go, they just briefly make eye contact and look for almost, uh, you yeah, uh, know, uh, imperceptible nod. Well, you do notice one thing. Esmeralda hugs you a little more fiercely than you'd expect, and then than Luna did. Just 
just saying. Just saying. <laughs> okay, so you you hit it back at the door. <laughs> oh, yeah. Which direction is the crystal in? Um, he said it was to the north. Yeah, you know, in the, in the northern caverns. Um, he says if if you use some of the pygmy warts, there is a way out the east side of their um, hideout here, but there is some nasty spiders in that direction, he says. I don't think I've had enough of spiders. I have to look at one every single night when I go to sleep. I can use a break. <gasps> Webster! Somewhere, somewhere Webster weeps. Eight, eight little tears. Right. <laughs> Multifaceted tears. <laughs> okay, you're gonna right, go back up to the, uh, to the west there. Okay, let me uh, transport you through the doorway there. Stand still for a sec. Grab your teeny tiny token. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry. Stretched. <laughs> to zoom in. Hang on. <laughs> it's too, too small. Alora. It's ribboning out of existence there. One of our new verbs we have on the channel. <laughs> Hang on, just give her all 20 seconds to catch up there and I shall sort you out. There we go. Oh, not smaller. There we go. Shrink. There you go. <laughs> Sorted. Okay. <laughs> now, you open the door and sneak through out into the tunnel there. And have a look I at did. the <laughs> little nooks and crannies where your friends were hiding, and there is nobody there. These people cannot stay still. <laughs> Why? Where <laughs> it's just oh, freaking off with their heads. <laughs> off with their heads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're gonna get a nice big punch in the arm. These people are always <laughs> wondering. Aww. We got antsy. <laughs> okay, speaking of, which of you is in the wrong place? <laughs> one of you is up on the ramp. One of you is down below. <laughs> I'm I'm up on the ramp. I, uh, Ignatius, I'm on where the are you ramp. going? Not, doesn't the ramp go up? Um, it's, it's the one that goes off to the north up here. Yeah, that's me. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, that's me. I'm the wrong one. <laughs> You're so confident. So I like it never <laughs> happened. <laughs> okay. My depth perception is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so, Elora, uh, before we jump back to uh, intrepid explorers, are you just assuming they went north? <laughs> that's where the crystal is, right? You heard that I from think them, I yeah. I'm gonna go check out the crystal and hope that I find them along the way. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Okay, so you start creeping up to the north there. You can move yourself up to the edge of the water. Um, meanwhile, zoop. Come with me, you're all 20. Shoop. There you are. Okay, so it's a bit of a complicated um, mess of <laughs> tunnels and things here. But yeah, as you as you manage to creep silently up that large jagged stone ramp that goes up above. Thank you, Quims. You did too much, too much. <laughs> but you're very appreciated. Thank you so much. Um you um Hey Silver, how you doing? You um creep on up there and manage to avoid the attentions of the nasty water monster down below. And you see two tunnels heading off from this junction. One to the east and one to the northwest. Which way are you headed? Is uh, your ghost saying anything? No, like the ghost isn't with me or anything. It's back oh, in a I room didn't... that's covered in bodies. I'm not going back there. Did you tell well, Ignatius that you found it was Bupido's, like, little cult headquarters? The cult of one? <laughs> no. 
You said, do I tell, do I tell him about it? Yeah. Yes, I think I did. Okay. Yeah, so Ignatius, you remember this, this ghost oh, yeah. was um, another victim that you almost fell for, as uh, Bupido being the reincarnation, the avatar of Dean Kanazan, the Dero god, um, almost tried to sacrifice you. Well then, what do you think, Corbin? Flip, flip a coin? Yeah, no, that would work. Um, well, I know where the path underneath of us goes, so this would be a path parallel to that. Do I remember anything? Would I remember any of the rooms that I went to when I was running through here have like some place high that I couldn't reach that I can assume these tunnels would lead to. Do I have anything? The remember? you remember the the tunnel that went underneath the ramp and went off to the west there mm -hmm. that led to where those bear, those cave bears were being in kept in cages by the cultists. I never freed the bears. <laughs> Too many side quests, too many side quests. It's like my Assassin's Creed quest log. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was too real. That was too relatable. <laughs> I had barely any classes yesterday. So I had a good time yeah. playing lots and lots of Assassin's Creed, obviously. Uh, which I now, to, I now get to call campaign prep because um, that aforementioned Chesenta campaign that's coming up in October, Chesenta is very much based on ancient Greece. So I was, I was doing research. Oh. Most of the day, yesterday. Yep. <laughs> it, all the DLC is a business expense. Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> Corbin is going to suggest to follow that parallel path. So the one to the... Uh, Northeast and uh, Northwest. North, northwest, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. Okay. okay. So far, so good. <laughs> not, not seeing anything. Still don't know if I'm rolling to, to sense the obsidian. Um, I mean, I have a torch. Sorry, okay. I have a torch. I just I can't see very well. I don't know if Corbin can see well. Maybe. I can see what's around me. It's still that blue glow. Yeah, it's just that faint glow from the mushrooms. If you want, if you want more light, you could use a torch. Oh, I thought I was already using one. Um, do you want to stick one up? Sure. Yeah, let's do that. Um, you're the left one there, aren't you? Okay. Uh, dynamic lighting. Roll 20. 20 foot of low light. Ah, oh, sorry, bright light. And 20 foot of low, right? 20 of each, isn't yeah. it? Yes. Nice. Now for a total of 40 feet. Uh, uh. <laughs> there, there you go. go. I can actually see your token now. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! And Web Webster's right there with you. Sorry. I'm just uh, being a lazy DM. A la Mike Flourish. Nope, Sly Flourish. <laughs> Mike Shay. <laughs> Sorry. Shoved his two names together. Okay. So, please carry on. And Alora, while you're waiting there, do roll me a stealth check. Natural one. Natural one. Natural one. Natural one. <laughs> no worries, sense. Oh, yes, me. Good to see. I'm looking forward to our uh, double candle keep mysteries coming up soon. Twice. Well, there's a twenty total. Ooh. <laughs> okay, you may make your way up the ramp. Unaccosted. You feel yourself getting a bit thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> double boo. <laughs> Ignatius, Corbin. Beat, beat. Weird. This is my best yeah, weird, yeah, we're still going forward. I feel like I feel like so, we're waiting for you. Like, and then it gets you. Yeah. <laughs> but you haven't said anything yet. Oh, there's a wall. No. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Lots and lots of mushrooms. Do I recognize these mushrooms? Are they I'm... screaming at me? <laughs> yeah, questions. Oh, give, give, me a, give me a perception check. It's a fairly, it's a fairly thick, um, thicket, if you will. 
Oh no! It's a thicket with two C's. Uh, uh, three, three <laughs> is uh, our uh, our channel average. I'm afraid. <laughs> Eighteen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, perception. Oh, come on. Um, that was a ten. Plus three is thirteen. Hey, did we match? Match? Why? Curse yeah, eighteen. Hmm? Not you. Sorry. <laughs> I'm cursing the module. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. you got it. Because there's on the map there's a fourteen A and a fourteen. It. For some reason, fourteen A was like the first one you come across, but it's tucked away like below the other one. I was like, where is it? Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, you see, um, this huge thicket of mushrooms filling up this corridor here. Um, you do see a tiny little. Um, thin fissure in the wall heading off to the west there that would require a pygmy mushroom pygmy wart mushroom to enter or it continues north mm. I'm going to look up Elora, to I'm, I'm going to be generous and say you catch up with them as they're kind of umming and ahhing about what's in like peering into the mushrooms here being slightly <laughs> nervous about the swarms that could be lurking within <laughs> so if you go north go Very northwest much. from there you can catch up. Very much so, like two brain cells trying to figure out how to open a door right now. <laughs> oh, let's not talk about doors <laughs> in D and D. Nature's just going. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, excuse my slightly no. la laggy camera. Everyone, my computer's struggling with everything today. Must be the summer heat in Japan here. Nasty. I think Allura runs up and just literally just punches each of them in the <laughs> arm really hard. Would you stop doing that? Corbin. Stop doing what? Running away. Not staying in the place that I left you. I don't know if you're dead, if you were captured. Oof, the heads. Would you have would you have punched me if you knew that I wasn't dead and or captured? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're trying to figure out if we should shrink, and they're pointing to where the fissure is. Or, I mean, we could always just set this on fire again. <laughs> I'm team fire so far. <laughs> well, the easiest way is just to go forward for now without shrinking. Sure. You head to the north. Into the mushrooms. Oh, into the thick of it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Lord's going to thick of it. Up on the conversation that they had and let them know that uh, there is a large crystal, but even the gray ghosts don't exactly know what it does. They just know it will cause chaos. Hold on, it was given to them by about the, the egg. Yeah, of it. I do, I do. Yeah, I say, and, and they stole the egg. <laughs> Uh, another way to get back up at the uh, authorities above. Why do they just like lack protein? Why do they need eggs? I don't understand. <laughs> they stole the dragon egg, which is uh, the flame for the city. So they stole it so that they wouldn't have a dragon, so that they could cause chaos. So it's it's dead. It's alive, I think. They just have the egg. Ignatius, I think in your training, um, you know, in the unlikely but terrible circumstance that dragons would attack, you were trained about them, and, and you know that dragons are very, very, you know, selfish and, and full of themselves, and if, as an adult, um, dragon, you know, gets older, they would get more and more demanding, and, um, yeah, you, you know that if they do not replace that dragon, um, it's going to be very bad news for, for uh, Grecklestuck. share that as much as I can, especially mm -hmm. red dragons. Yeah. Horrible. <laughs> hey, temper. So, uh, so I'm not saying we have to save the baby. Yeah. Aww. Like, poor Corbin is like <laughs> audibly sad. <laughs> Can't keep it. <laughs> I don't think they have the intention of harming the dragon. They just want everyone else above to... Suffer, so it's basically. not about the fact that, yeah, yes. okay. 
Oh, well, I will share. Me. I will share with you Give one snippet stuff. from the module, if I may. It does quote unquote say in the module that should the egg hatch, the red dragon wormling imprints on the first person it sees. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I did not mean to do that unmuted. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, just saying. I guess Ignatius is time. Part. Ignatius is like, but don't. The pot. I think red dragons eat their parents. I think that's something I heard. <laughs> I think, I look in retrospect, that's a cool way to die. But in like <laughs> self-preservation, <laughs> I, can I at least name them? <laughs> no, then I'll give them a backstory. Like as they're walking forward, like towards the towards the watching. No, because then I'll give them a backstory, and it's just gonna hurt everyone. <laughs> if anyone was going to train a dragon, it would be you, Corbin. So if it happens, it happens. But let's try not to cause too much trouble. Maybe you could write write some kind of instructional pamphlet called. <laughs> hmm, what what would you call that? <laughs> I don't. How to... I, I feel like I would call it. <laughs> <laughs> How to copyright infringement? Your dress. <laughs> I'm sad because before we started streaming, and I could use music like that. I, I used one of those uh, one of the songs from that particular intellectual property uh -huh. as the uh, theme tune for a rather rather cool um, dwarven swashbuckler rogue in Dragon Heist. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> there okay. you go. There you go. Uh -huh. okay. That's a good one. Okay. So yes, they are mumbling their dreams. Yeah. They're You're... mumbling their dreams of, of training a dragon as they as they go forward, though. Wading, wading into the uh, mushrooms there. Um, as before, you you can uh, grab a couple of handfuls. Uh, there's there's a, a few more big wigs and pygmy warts there if you want to grab those. Yep, yep. Uh, gotta keep gotta keep my supply. Yeah, so we don't need to keep track. There's there's so many of them all over the place. So <laughs> they do not want you to run out. <laughs> okay, and uh, yeah, you you're free to make your way around the corner there. So would I know which way the crystal was, like to the left or up? They said to the north, so that seems to be the way. Okay. Going slowly. Oh, there's more. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, as you make your way up there, Elora, I believe you can probably see with your dark vision. How far does it extend? Maybe not quite yet. I think I think the player view is the sum total of what everyone can see. So maybe yeah. not yet. Not yet. Um, by the way, um, dear viewers, <laughs> um, you're you're seeing the sum total of what they can see, but each of them can only see what their character can see. So Ignatius and Corbin can only see the within the limits of Ignatius's torchlight, whereas Elora can see mm -hmm. sixty feet. Yeah, your dark vision, yeah. But um, beyond the torchlight, it's dim and grey. Um, now, you arrive there, and there is a large tunnel heading off to the west, and it continues to the northeast, deep into, yes, more of those mushrooms clustering in the mouth of the tunnel there. Some of them. The, the more things. mushrooms that we. The, the, every time we come into a large thing of vegetation, it's it's near some type of water, right? Mm. Like that's, that's no, like the I don't been, know. It hasn't been every time. No, no and I think you'd remember. Yeah, it hasn't been every time. Okay, I'm not sure which which way we should we should go. You said some of the mushrooms were taller. Are you saying that some of these are different than the ones we've seen so far? Um, no, just the same same kind of varieties as before that you've seen on your travels. Just, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a mixture. When a mixture people of wading through mushrooms. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the last like patch. Ask the group if we want to <laughs> I have yeah. no idea, but I feel like mushrooms are a theme, so if we follow them. <laughs> That's fair. Oh. So, this northern passageway is... <laughs> I guess I'll take. Follow the mushroom clad road. Follow the <laughs> mushroom clad road. Okay. Okay, and I go. Yeah, so you start. Queen of the North. 
Actually, actually the east. <laughs> Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> but um, yes, thanks to um, your perception check from before, um, it's, it's very clear on the map. But um, those those doors are almost entirely covered by the um, the patch of mushrooms here. So the set of double doors hidden away behind all of the mushrooms there. But you do see um, the uh, zerkwood planks of a sturdy-looking set of double doors. Interesting. I feel like this honestly means people don't go this way. <laughs> if they've overtaken the door. <laughs> yeah. That it means seems we like should. Got something we're looking for behind it, though. I don't know if your hand could have gotten past these doors, though. Your hand? Well, no, not this hand. I could probably punch that. I believe in myself enough. <laughs> you like have a moment where they're staring at the door and they're like, no, no, no. Uh, no, the the hand that that's that skittering around with the ring, the ring. Kick punch is on the mind. Oh, couldn't hear. Oh no, sorry. Can you hear me now? Yep. Oh, I couldn't hear John. I was, I was, oh, sorry, I was whispering okay. to myself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, quoting Parappa the Rapper from many years ago. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I love that game. <laughs> So, well, before we go opening unknown doors, maybe we should try the open road. Yeah, we know that the doors are here. Yes. Are you, sure, are you pretty sure that the crystal could be down here? Am I pretty sure that the crystal could be down here? They said, I think... they said to the north. And that's yeah. kind of going northeast, whereas the other one's just going due west. Oh. I'm just following go. you, boss. Open yeah. the door. <laughs> Stealthily open. open the door. Okay. Look through. I'll try to stealthily <laughs> open the door. Yes, you, you you creep through the big overgrown thickets of mushrooms, you know, just moving them out of the way. Some of them snap and break as you're making your way through there. But um they do not budge. They it seems to be barred from the other side. If Ignatius gave it a good try, I reckon he could maybe be able to break through. But it would take quite a feat and probably make quite a lot of noise. It's going to be loud if I try to open this. Is there space under the door? Mm. Even if it is through the thickets, is there is there like that, that space under the door that if, if I, mean, I got small, I could wiggle in there? Not pygmy or small. Like if you had like a... But like, I can go... I was just saying, um, I could go pick me wart small and then, ch and then uh, shape shift like, changeling shape shift myself smaller. Hmm. Because the pygmy wart makes you kind of like halfling size, and how much can you shift? Mm -hmm. How much smaller can you make yourself with the changeling ability? I think you stay the same size. Just I like will... there is there is a small change. Yeah. Um. You determine the specifics of the changes, including your coloration, hair length sex, height, and weight, so you determine it. Like, completely freely? Um, though none of your game, yeah, though none of your game statistics change, like, I still have my strength and everything else, my roles would stay in the same, uh, and I can't duplicate an appearance of a creature I've never seen. So if I made myself a centipede, I've seen centipedes, I've killed centipedes. <laughs> I think you have to can't um, remain humanoid. I'm not you, sure though. You must adopt. Yeah, wait. You must adopt a form that has the same basic arrangement of limbs yeah. that you have. So I would need to turn into something where it's the tiniest bird you can think of. <laughs> not bird. Like it's as small as like a hummingbird. I don't know. That's that's definitely. This is becoming a DM call. The way that it's worded. I think. Yeah, I'm just. I'm just like you know. Um looking online um yeah it says it says between like four to eight feet um okay yeah it says you cannot you cannot change your size category mm. got you so you could you could pick me what down to small but then you couldn't change to tiny unfortunately 
you do gotcha. you need you need like a spell you know like um like uh, or a, a, like you know a mist a mist form or if you, you you don't have wild shape yet right i won't get it until i get to my third level of druid right yeah if you had wild shape you could do, you could go bug but uh i wish the fairy class was out when we started this yeah. <laughs> yeah right. Very racist. I mean, <laughs> I have, I, I have, yeah, I have access to some weird stuff, but not, not that. Oh wait, but I do have something that I think I could do. Um, we kept talking about bugs, and I have a spell. I have infestation. I could send a swarm of bugs in there to unbar the door. <laughs> <laughs> and that's an at will thing. <laughs> that's a cantrip. Like that? Just the sense. I have infestation at will. <laughs> <It's like, ugh. laughs> um, let me. I'm just going to quickly check the wording on that. That's a good idea. No problem. Do, do, do. Can't say I'm not creative. It just doesn't <laughs> no, mean the rules yeah, will let me to, do that thing. I don't want to. Don't want to punish that. Yeah, yeah. Um, cloud of. A cloud of mites, fleas, and other parasites. It doesn't sound very strong. <laughs> oh dang! <laughs> um, it's not. Yeah, it's not a swarm of swarm of uh, insects. I'm afraid it's tiny little uh, parasitic do do does. <laughs> Your um, yeah. bug wouldn't be able to communicate anything to you, right? Like <laughs> what's beyond beyond the wall? If there are any enemies, right? <laughs> They're like, I can't make my bu my small bugs don't work, and then they point the Webster. My big bug don't work. <laughs> I will. You really want behind that door, right? <laughs> I will kind of. I will suggest one thing. Looking as I am at your character sheet, um, mm. if you cantrip primal savagery, and your fingers become claws dripping acid. I forgot it does acid damage. <laughs> We're trying to not make a lot of noise. That's the only reason I haven't helped you just bar kick this door in, Ignatius. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> Ignatius just like keeps just like slowly like lowering his horns. Like, I'm backing up, yeah. Backing up as up we're waiting. Ground. Getting a running start. It's like I'm right here, guys. I'm just, if, if this Come doesn't me. work, I'm just making a big X for Put you to coach. target. Coach. Uh, Put me in, coach. Come on. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're gonna they're, they're gonna do that because I can. I'm gonna slash at the door. <laughs> I'm not gonna bite it because I can only do my nails or my teeth. <laughs> I will not bite the door. I will slash. Uh, okay. At um, do they have like right down the middle? Like is there actually like a slot? That's where I'm gonna claw. Um yes yeah so you start um it, and it takes a while because it's just a cantrip, but um mm -hmm. yeah Elora you kind of step back as you see Corbin just go slightly feral. And their fingers extend even beyond those darts of theirs, and the uh, the claws drip with acid that hisses and sputters as it falls on the floor and the mushrooms around, and does start to melt away the very organic nature of this door. <laughs> Something. When they're done, I feel like when they're done, they're just like, right? When they're done, their hands are just still dripping acid, and they're like. I helped. It was like this, this dangerous I... experiment thing. It's like, friend. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. And uh, yeah, after a while, it does, like I say, it does take some time with the country trip. But um, after a bit, it does um, start to creak quietly and um, give way. And then Ignatius, with a hefty shove, of your battle axe, I wouldn't use your hand. <laughs> um, okay. it, um, it does um, give and break open. Nicely done. Does it make a loud sound? No, it's okay. There's a slight thunk as the um, as the big beam of Zerkwood on the other side crunches to the floor. But oh, I need to zoom in oh. so I can grab that door for you. With me, folks, as I grab this dynamic lighting. Zoop. Ta da! There you go. And you see the tunnel curving slightly, so it runs almost due east after a short time, but it does curl round 
and head in that direction. And you are free to follow it as you will. Following after you, torch guy. <laughs> yeah, actually, Alora should go Lead first. Lead the way. <laughs> Epics, how rude. So I just got disadvantage. <laughs> Good to see you, though. Ah, Owen. Yay. <laughs> hey, I, I, I put it there. I, I gave, made it as an option. It's always a possibility. <laughs> okay, so you. Oh, sorry, everyone. I left you in the in the empty corridor there. Sure. Swoop on over here, please, Rolls Royce. Come on, come on. There we go. I think I might I'll zoom out a bit for you folks, actually, until something happens so you can see a bit broader what's going on here. Zoop. Catch up, Roll 20, catch up. This is curling. Yes, and actually curls round, actually curls round on itself and heads south in that direction. Mm. <laughs> And microbiologist, thank you for the advantage. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the audience giveth and the others taketh away. Thank you. <laughs> Just that over there as well. Um, <laughs> thank you so much. Good to see you both. Oh, oh I see oh, another. No worries. Yeah, I know about all the time zone stuff, mate. I know, I know. Um, yes, as you make your way around there, let, let me bring you over, everyone. Um, you do see a, a narrow but not requiring of a pygmy wart um, tunnel heading off to the south. But, I mean, you do get the feeling that would take you kind of back in the direction that you have travelled before. Especially, I think, Zakan would know that and uh, warns you that that would probably lead back. And as it curls around on itself and heads east, once more, he says that's probably the most promising. Yeah. Roll around we go. Okay. And as it, as you make your way down there, as it opens out, just stop for me, would you? Okay. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Let me uh, bring everyone over here. So yes, okay, you are creeping along there. Um, give me one more stealth check, it's been a while. Let's get uh, one more and see how everyone's doing. Welcome in everyone, it's good to have you here. Natural one. <laughs> hey! If you've got to let them fly, folks. Oh no! For a total of? Three. One. Three, okay. A <laughs> <laughs> total of three. Um, Laura? <laughs> bump the uh, average, bump the average. Total 26. <laughs> Corbin. At 13. I don't even know if I'm helping anymore. <laughs> That's not bad, not bad. Okay, for an average of 14. Okay. Let me uh, double check on our little friendos over here. Oh, no. See no if you are spotted or not. <laughs> okay. Um. I'm going to say no for that. Actually, I know I know what their passive perception is. Definitely not for that one. Um, this other one, though. Something a little new. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Da, da, da. Okay. <laughs> oh, the Adventure Archive. Good to see you again. Thank you, Raiders. We are creeping through the Underdark, seeing what's up with the Thieves' Guild here. What are they hiding away? What is this dark crystal that they are hoping to use against those that would quash them in the city above? Okay. Um, let me just get sorted here. Okay, I'm going to bring you over to the map for this. There's a Corbin. And there's an Aurora. And there's an Ignatius. Now, let me just make sure that uh, light is on for you, Ignatius. Does it carry over onto the other tokens? No, it does not. <laughs> New token, who dis?
Boom. That should be working. All right. So let me help you out here um, as I bring you over to the chamber of the obelisk. Have I brought us? <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Oh, much, much bigger. Much bigger map. Uh, much larger scale map here so you can see much more. <laughs> I'll probably mm. zoom out a bit for you back home. This one is a bit uh, chunkier. Okay, there we go. Everyone seeing okay? Yeah. Welcome in, everybody. Wow, thank you for that massive raid adventure archive. Lovely to have you all. Um, okay, hope you had a great session. Now, everyone got eyes on, okay? Yep. Yeah. All right. Now, Corbin and um, Ignatius, you can just see just into the cave, right? But uh, Elora, you can yes. see a bit, a bit further, I assume. <laughs> Yeah, it's done. Yeah, stay there. Stay there a sec. And let me just double check that your uh, night vision. Oh, I need to do this. Oop. There we go. <laughs> Sing. Wow! <laughs> Microbiologist, thank you. <laughs> Emoji explosion. Okay. Um. So you come creeping in to this cavern, and let me. Do a little box text for you here. After a steady upward climb, the tunnel opens into a huge. <laughs> Sorry, I just I just read the uh, description here. <laughs> the tunnel opens into a huge, well lit chamber. <laughs> 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 Let me uh, just sh shuffle over here and turn off this dynamic lighting. Roll twenty. <laughs> what were you doing? Boop. We don't need that. Ah, there you oh, go. Very well lit. <laughs> Let okay. there be light. Well, it says well lit, right? <laughs> and yes. Okay, sorry, let me continue. <laughs> this huge well lit chamber, the glow of phase rest and bioluminescent bio fungi compete with shafts of white light that fall upon naturally formed shelves along the walls, as well as a rocky messer at the center of the cavern. Crudely formed ramps connect the different levels of the mesa up to the height of its two topmost tiers, which are linked by a sturdy bridge. Atop one of those tiers sits a large red egg. Atop the other stands a 50-foot tall obelisk made of smooth black metal, with a few noticeable imperfections, as though small parts of it were somehow chipped away. A female Darrow stands close to the obelisk, gently patting and stroking its surface, muttering to herself. The obelisk flashes once, the glow of phase rests around the cavern, flaring in response. The Darrow squeals with glee as she snatches an object up from the ground, then she writes something down in a small notebook. And the object that you saw her grab from the ground is the crystal. Elora, that you saw Droki delivering earlier. And she lifts it up reverently and holds it against the surface of the obelisk and it's absorbed into the item. And one of those cracks that's very visibly on the surface smooths over and is repaired. And the Darrow cackling and clapping her hands together is like, <laughs> and is very, very gleeful that um, they've been able to fix one more part of this. Now, it's at that moment that um, let's see uh, and okay, so I need um, Alora, please make me a wisdom saving throw. Ignatius, please make me a constitution saving throw. And Corbin, please make me a wisdom saving throw. As des descending out of the darkness of the tunnel above, a large bulbous sack with three eye stalks comes descending out oh, okay. of the darkness. And those eye stalks fire off. Yeah. <laughs> 
um, beams of light that shoot out of the darkness. And I wiggle around my head tentacles here <laughs> as a, not a full beholder, uh, not quite this many eye stalks, but as a beholder, um, Kin shoots off its eye beams at you. And you oh. see the Dero on top of the Mesa spin suddenly, as if communicated with telepathically. So, Elora, how was that uh, wisdom saving throw? Uh, 18. An 18. Okay, and the constitution saving throw? 13. 13. Okay, and Corbin, the wisdom saving throw? 16. 16. Okay. So, <laughs> as you sneak into the cavern, these beams of light suddenly come streaking down from above as you just hear this and this creature um, attacks from above suddenly by surprise and all of the beams impact against you and you're fine <laughs> you're all saved <laughs> nicely done nicely done stop <laughs> Corbin's like stop <laughs> and the creature <laughs> suddenly descends upon you without any um, further ado there any oh, sorry what am I doing here boom and a surprise attack there and I'm afraid we shall leave things there for today <laughs> so ready to roll initiative I was so ready <laughs> we can start with a roll of initiative next time which is always a nice place to start apologies to all of our wonderful Adventure Archive raiders there just swooping in there at the very end but thank you so much hey Newbie Goddess good to see you <laughs> yes it is very blinky um, anyway yeah, it's, it's, it's very dry down here in the caverns <laughs> he needs to get, get up by the dark lake and uh, get some uh, get some moisture we'll go back to that uh, strange whirlpool and have a nice nice sip of the waters like Corbin has been enjoying <laughs> someone else is drinking the water <laughs> <laughs> Quims stop it but thank you <laughs> someone else is legend. thank you so so much everyone a massive massive thank you for today for all of the raids let me uh, grab I don't want to make any mistakes with the names here um, let's see here to the wonderful adventure archive the lovely guild superior and manapot studios thank you so much for those raids absolute pleasure to have you all here every time that you are able time zones um allowing don't worry microbiologist i understand that very very much um but yes an absolute joy to have all of you here <laughs> as i'm glad this is a virtual headpiece because it would be very hot if it was a real one <laughs> and a um huge thank you for everyone that's joined us today i hope you enjoyed our little jaunt through the caverns here in the underdark and we shall continue do come along next time and see what is all about this giant obelisk and will they be able to defeat this hideous beholder kin that has come spiraling out of the darkness above and the mad um dero savant that is up on the messer above yes a huge happy birthday to buns welcome Welcome to your third decade. <laughs> nah, I feel, which I'm going to say, I'm just happy saying because you did say it before. <laughs> so I waited until you said it yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I said it. No, I said it. I said it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, cheers, John. <laughs> hey, I'm in my fourth decade, so don't worry. It, it, it keeps getting better. So it's, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> so, yes, lots and lots of happy birthdays to Barnes over there. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us on this auspicious early morning. The first couple of hours. I hope that the rest of it is also yeah. too. And thank you, Ignatius and Elora as well, Chris and Sam. I will come back around and after I've said a few thank yous over here as well. So yes, everyone who joined us today, thank you for joining us live. If you're watching the VOD, thank you for watching the VOD as well. And we will see you next time. Be that later on today, if you're already in Thursday, which I think most people are, if you're in California not yet, I guess. Um, but Thursday morning or evening, depending on where you are in the world, we will be back in Barovia as they continue to delve into the depths of Argon Vostalt, trying to find the last item from their Taroka reading from Madam Eva. I hope you're able to join us for that as we continue our Curse of Strahd campaign. Then, tomorrow, I'm saying, I'm, I'm going to say three more sessions tops in our descent into avernus game as it is ramping up very very nicely to a huge 
um, crescendo at a conclusion that will be coming very soon as our adventurers face off against Zariel and try to rescue the city of Elturel and send it back to the material plane. Then on Saturday, um, we are taking a break um, from our Quest Junkies UK um, campaign. So there is nothing happening on Saturday. But next Tuesday, we'll be back into our miniature summer break campaign on the tropical jungle island covered in all the lush jungle and turtles galore down in the little town of Ahoy Hoy as we continue our Snout of Omgar campaign from the turtle package. And do come out and find what is going on there with the cult of elemental evil as they are plotting something nasty on that jungle isle. Then that will bring us all the way back round to here in the Underdark. And it is always a good time to see everyone. And we will look forward to seeing you again next time. If you have not already, do give us a follow so I can shout you a invitation over to our Discord and you can come and join us and hang out there. But let me stop talking about myself and let us enjoy all of the fine stuff, not only here, but on all of our friends' channels as well. Ignatius. Chris from Carney Sideshow. Tell us what is going on as I take off this ridiculous headpiece. <laughs> Hello there. My name is Chris, and I am from Carney Sideshow, also D&D stream. Uh, this Saturday, we have our last episode of our mini campaign forever and uh that'll be pretty fun but then on sunday more exciting guests for sylvie's D, D pajama party who's, who's, who's do it? irl skill checks to see their stats um who is it you say yeah. well we have noir from our stream team critical misses and nice. he's part of team cypher cypher of tear and also we have yang yang from dungeon scrawlers who is a really great D and D channel. You've probably heard of them if you like D and D. They're all a bunch of writers who write for Wizards of the Coast. Nice. They're amazing, and uh, yeah, exciting. And then we have all bunch of stuff next week as well. Fantastic. And speaking of next week on Friday lunchtime for us Thursday evening in North America, you can catch Chris, myself, and Sylvie from Carney Sideshow, and Josh from Tales of Pesh, AJ from Roll for Damage and L from Dreaded GM over on his channel as they are doing a big charity stream all over that weekend. And we are all playing together. Very rare combination, a rare chance to see us all playing together as players. And do head on over and join that. That is gonna be um, lots of information on the Twitter and everything about that. Let me do that social shout out again. Um, do head on over to the Twitter to get all of the, oh, nope, spelled it wrong. <laughs> we'll see last. Try again. Socialist. That's my next character's Typing name. Typing too quickly. I Typing. am <laughs> so, Socialist. There you go. Um, now, yes, do um, head on over to the Twitter there to get all of the information about that as that is announced. And we will see you next time we see you. But until then, another massive thank you to all of you. And one last big happy birthday to Barnes. And happy we shall see you all next time as we like to say around these parts until then not the see ya have a good one <laughs> <laughs>